the limping child. A limp is defined as a deviation from the normal gait pattern expected for a child's age. And you should take a robust history when examining the limping child. Have they had any fevers, chills, or systemic symptoms? When do their symptoms get worse or better? Have they had any recent upper or lower respiratory tract infections, diarrhea or vomiting? Are there any other associated aches or pains, especially in other joints? How long have they had this limp for? And are there any other signs or symptoms that the parents are aware of? This is because you are always concerned as to whether this limp is septic arthritis. Septic arthritis is a surgical emergency, and 35% of cases involve the hip joint. Staphylococcus is the most common organism, though there are others, and this needs urgent investigation and treatment. You should be aware of the Cocker criteria for septic arthritis of the hip. This is a scoring system from 1 to 4. The criteria are non-weight-bearing on the affected side, an ESR of more than 40, a high fever, and raised white cells. If they score one of those, they have only a 3% chance of having a septic arthritis, whereas all four, there is a 99% chance. CRP is an independent variable, but a raised CRP and a non-weight-bearing limping child gives a 74% chance of septic arthritis. The most common cause of hip pain in children, however, is transient synovitis. This is hip pain due to inflammation of the synovium of the hip. This normally will improve over one to two days, normally assisted with simple analgesics, but you must rule out other pathology. The other two conditions you should be aware of in the limping child is Perthes disease, which is avascular necrosis of the proximal femoral epiphysis. This is much more common in males and happens in the four to eight year old group. It often has an insidious history with a painless limp. You should take a detailed history, investigate for septic arthritis and x-rays your first line investigation. The final cause of a limping child you should be aware of is a SUFI or slipped upper femoral epiphysis. This is slippage of the epiphysis relative to the femoral neck. The single greatest risk factor for this is obesity and often they present with groin and thigh pain. Again, as with Perthes, you should rule out septic arthritis and x-ray is your first line investigation.